So, hello everyone. Good morning or good afternoon according to time zone in which you are. We have here in Czech Republic and Western Europe or Central Europe still morning maybe and in Russia there is already afternoon. Uh, I would like to welcome you on the next session of, uh, of SPECOM. Uh, so we have now six, eight, nine papers, nine short presentations. So I would like, I, uh, I would like to ask uh, authors to, to prepare presentations and to, to uh, use these eight minutes you have for, for presentations so that we have two minutes for, for uh, questions. So uh, do we have here uh, the authors of uh, first paper? It is named the Bulgarian Associative Dictionaries in the Laplace Web-based System by authors Dimitar Popov, Velka Popova, Krasimir Kordov and Stanimir Zelezov. So, uh, Hello, dear colleagues. Uh, I know I'm not on the list of the authors, but I will be presenting for uh, Dimitar Popov, Velka Popova, Mr. Kordov and Mr. Zelezov. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Rodostina Iglikova. Uh, I am just going to share my screen so that you can see our presentation. Uh, can everyone see? I hope everything is well visible. Uh, could you just confirm that? Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, so hello once again, I will be presenting uh, on behalf of the authors of uh, the paper, which is entitled Bulgarian Associative Dictionaries in the Lablas web-based system. Uh, the topic of the presentation are the Bulgarian Associative Dictionaries in Lablas. The web-based system is developed within the Clada BG project. A uh, pilot version is already available of the, the system and it is being currently periodically updated with new data. Uh, let's first take a very brief general overview of uh, associative lexicography. As we all know, some of the priorities of psycholinguistics today include the gathering of associative data and the development of associative dictionaries and the story, these are uh, both crucial as they provide the raw material for studying the mental lexicon of human beings nowadays. As far as Bulgarian associative lexicography and its contributions, uh, the situation is the following. There are unfortunately very few, in fact, only three dictionaries available. These are the Bulgarian Norms of Words Diction Associations Dictionary, the Bulgarian Associative Dictionary, and the Dictionary of Child Word Associations. Uh, it is also worth mentioning that Bulgarian language is also featured in the Slavic Associative Dictionary, uh, where it is represented uh, in comparison with Russian, Serbian, Ukrainian, and Belarusian. Uh, this situation uh, unfortunately poses a problem, the problem of a lack of a realistic overview of the existing empirical material, since there is an Im immense amount of unsystematized associative data in Bulgarian, uh, and it all comes from separate specific studies in various different fields, such as psychology, foreign language teaching, psycholinguistics, etc. Uh, the creators of the LabLab system and the members of the uh, team envision um, a solution being the creation of a web-based system in response to uh, the existing need for a reliable and dynamic systematizing of existing data on the one hand, and on the other hand, its representation in a research-friendly format. Uh, in relation to achieving some of these solutions, uh, the year 2020 saw the start of the newly developed web-based system in, named Lablas, 
Uh, the name is an abbreviation of LabLing, which is the Laboratory of Applied Linguistics, where it was um, developed within Schumann University and uh, associations. The system uh, is divided into four main modules, which we can uh, see over here in this uh, figure. There is a schematic uh, illustration through the homepage. We have user authentication, and there are the four different separate modules the dictionaries management module, the word stimuli management module, the associations management module, and the visualization module, which are each of those in a dynamic relationship with the database. Uh, now we will take a brief look at each uh, of these um, modules. First, on your left, you can see the interface of the first module, the dictionary management module. Uh, what it can do, or uh, more appropriately said, uh, what the users can do is modify existing dictionaries or in case they um, prove to be unnecessary, they can be deleted. And the most important and crucial feature would be the creation of new dictionaries where there is an option of including uh, statistical information regarding the number of surveyed persons. The second module, also again on the left, is the Outlook, is the Word Stimulus Management module. Once again, it has the option of uh, modifying or deleting existing stimulus words. And in order to add new stimulus words, the user needs to select an existing uh, dictionary and uh, which, uh, to which the new words would be associated. And also, once again, there is an option for including the number of surveyed persons for statistical purposes. The third module is the associations uh, management module. Once again, we can modify or we can delete existing associations. And in order to add new ones, uh, an existing dictionary needs to be selected as well as a word stimulus from the drop-down menu in the center. And uh, to those, the new associations will be connected. Once again, uh, statistical data regarding the surveyed persons can be included. Finally, there is the visualization module uh, whose function is to illustrate visually the available dictionaries in the database. This visualization is available in two different formats. Uh, the first way, um, the first you can see here on the left, it, this is the tree view representation of each separate dictionary. Also, there is available a summarized table format, which in just a few seconds I will show you uh, the outlook of. Um, this table format um, summarizes information from several dictionaries and displays it simultaneously. Uh, and each of these views includes the statistical information which is avail available uh, within the database. Uh, this way of visualizing uh, quantitative data um, improves visibility, which becomes obvious when we compare the traditional view within, um, which is available in paper-based uh, traditional associations dictionaries, and the new way uh, which the web, la uh, the Lablas web-based system offers, the tree view and the table format and the creators of the system the platform believe that this indeed improves visibility. Uh, another uh, important aspect is the modular format of structuring associative dictionaries. Uh, since um, this last minute, 
yes, each of the building modules uh, can be compared to a dictionary on a module from a different uh, dictionary and results will be visualized in a table format, as you can see here. Uh, comparison between the Dictionary of Children Associations and of uh, Word Associations based on a comparison on, on the word uh, Baba in Bulgarian or Grandmother. Uh, in conclusion, just shortly, the contributions of LabLast include a new opportunity for um, a valuable uh, work in which the researcher would never lose sight of the idea of the entire picture of associative uh, lexicography. And creators believe that uh, further development of LabLast would help overcome fragmentariness within different fields which do research. And hopefully the establishment of LabLast would provide a wide platform for solid research in different fields such as psychology psychology, psycholinguistics, pedagogy, psychiatry, etc. Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you for your talk. Uh, we have uh, time for one short question. Uh, are there any questions in the public? So let me ask a very short question. What, uh, what programming interface did you use? It is just uh, pure HTML or is there some uh, some tool used uh, to creation this uh, this web-based interface. Um, yes, um, perhaps Professor Popov uh, would like to answer, and I would translate. Uh, I can see he's here in the list. Professor Popov, вопроса дали HTML е използван или някакви други някакъв друг софтуер е използван при създаването на платформата. Uh, hello, we, we used uh, PHP. PHP programming language, mm -hmm. uh, but HTML is for uh, visualization of the web pages. Also use uh, JavaScript and uh, MySQL database for the whole web-based system. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, unfortunately, there is no time for other questions. We are a little bit already behind. So I would like to ask uh, following speakers to really be on time with the eight minutes presentation. Uh, 